as of May 26, U.S. Eastern Time, the coronavirus, also called the CCP virus, has infected more than 5.56 million people, and the death toll has exceeded 348,000. Tracing the origin of this disaster, we see the huge economic profits offered by the CCP are like bait to tempt hungry fish. Many countries, cities, and individuals around the world went for the bait and forsook their morals and values they held dear. In their eagerness, they opened Pandora's box. It's not until the CCP virus is wreaking havoc on lives and economies that they start to wake up. March 12th, the Washington Post posted a strong indictment of passive investment vehicles known as indexes that now dominate U.S. capital markets. Columnist Josh Rogan said, Wall Street's practice of using such instruments like these to direct capital to opaque and often criminal Chinese companies is a potentially even bigger problem than the CCP virus. Rogan also cited President Trump's NSA Robert O'Brien as saying, I don't see why we should be underwriting the Chinese defense industry. CalPERS, a major U.S. pension fund, holds $3.1 billion worth of shares in Chinese companies. They include military contractors and even companies like Hikvision that are currently sanctioned by the U.S. government for building surveillance and internment camps in Xinjiang. Rogan and O'Brien are both correct, but unfortunately, they did not mention the elephant in the room. The CCP's persecution of Falun Gong is the greatest violation of human rights in this century. Over the past two decades, the CCP has been brutally and systematically persecuting Falun Gong practitioners, and by doing so, it is also directly attacking the universal values of truthfulness, compassion, and forbearance. The CCP spends huge amounts of money in covering up its atrocities and maintaining its suppression of Falun Gong, and uses economic and monetary incentives to buy the silence of influential politicians and business leaders around the world. In mainland China and in countries around the world such as the US, many politicians and leaders in finance, technology, and business do not dare to declare their support for people who believe in their universal values of truthfulness, compassion, and forbearance. Why? Because the CCP wants to crush them. They desire a marriage of convenience with the CCP and obtain astronomical profits. So on the issue of human rights, they are fully aligned with the CCP and unwilling to support Falun Gong practitioners in their peaceful resistance against the persecution. In June 1919, the former CCP leader Jiang Zemin drew up the policy to persecute Falun Gong, ruin their reputations, bankrupt them financially, and destroy them physically. In a nationwide propaganda campaign, he activated the party institutions, the army, medical, educational institutions, businesses, the police force, labor camps, and prisons, etc. in an effort to eliminate Falun Gong within three months. They even established a new nationwide industry, forcefully harvesting organs from captive Falun Gong practitioners for massive profits. Many organ transplant surgeons were trained and achieved eminence, and China gained prominence as an organ transplant destination. The police and military are to protect citizens. Doctors and nurses are to save lives, yet they have been turned into murderers. 20 years later, in 2020, Falun Gong practitioners are still persecuted under that policy. The CCP uses many tactics to distract the Chinese people, video and computer games, making money, pornography, and hedonistic indulgences to let them forget all about Falun Gong and forget all about truthfulness, compassion, and forbearance. Yet for over two decades, Falun Gong has survived undefeated. That's due to the power of truthfulness, compassion, and forbearance. Previously, whoever the CCP wanted to eliminate will be eliminated without exception, but regarding Falun Gong's persecution, the CCP was doomed to fail from the start. Back in 1999, Minghui.org, Falun Gong's official website, announced this in an article published on the website. Since 1999 till now, Minghui has published first-hand accounts of persecution experienced by Falun Gong practitioners as well as what they experienced in their cultivation practice, etc. These articles bear strong testament to practitioners standing up against the persecution and clarifying the truth to the public. Not only has this persecution tempered Falun Gong practitioners, it is also a way to judge humanity's moral bottom line. If a country or a nation has a collapse or no moral bottom line and continues to maintain its ties with the CCP and cooperate with it, it will find it impossible to truly prosper and be blessed by the divine. It is heaven's will that the CCP will perish. If you do not wish to follow the CCP to its demise, it is entirely up to you. The choice lies with us, each and every one of us. This choice is granted to us by the divine, whether you are rich or poor, influential or not, it is your choice.